Hallo Leute, ich begrüße euch wieder bei Language Place. Heute haben wir mit ein ganz, ganz wichtiges Verb zu tun. Und das Verb heißt werden. Okay, I want to welcome you again to the class today. Today we are going to talk about a verb that's very, very important in the German language, and the verb is werden. So, let me say it after me, werden. Okay, now, this is the verb we're going to work with now. And the verb is very central, very important, because it is used in variety of ways. And that's why it's very important that we look at it. So, I have the verb here. It functions as full verb and it functions as helping verb, or you see, auxiliary verb, yeah? Now, when it functions as full verb, the meaning is to become. And even under, uh, when it functions as helping verb, you have, it can function as, uh, can used to be formed future tense, we call it futur eins. It is used to form passive tense, passive sentence, and then you can use it to form order, command, be fail, or you can use it uh, to, to you transform it to conjunctify, that is the verb itself changes to conjunctify, and that's another level entirely, and the remaining two, uh, it's just good that we know now, later we'll talk about it. Okay, but before we do anything at all, we should know how to conjugate, remember, I, I mean, we keep on I'm marrying on that. When you see a new verb, you first know the meaning and then you conjugate. And after you have conjugated, we're now used, we're not going to use it to form some beautiful sentences. Okay, so conjugation, we come, the personal pronouns are there. And then we have the first one, ich werde. Ich werde, are you there? Okay, ich werde, du wirst. Du wirst, er wird, er wird, sie wird, es wird, wir werden, wir werden, ihr werdet, ihr werdet, sie werden, sie werden. Okay, another verb that you just have to learn how it is conjugated, just memorize it and have it in your brain, and then you are there. Okay, that is the conjugation. Now, we want to talk about the different uh, ways this verb can be used. The first one is, we want to see it as a full verb. Werden as for a uh, full verb. We want to use it as a full verb, and then this first one, number one, this first one, under it, we have situation where werden is used with nouns and the second one where uh, werden is used with adjective what meaning do we have in those uh, instances number one uh, werden plus nomen remember master the conjugation ich werde art here is a university student or a young boy or a young girl who desires to be a doctor and he says I want to become a doctor. So here we see it, the meaning of the verb, werden, becoming. I want to become a doctor. Ich werde Arzt. He's not yet a doctor. He desires, he wants to become a doctor. Okay. And uh, not only that, you can also think of, I can also add another one. Ich werde Politiker. Politiker. Yeah? When it comes to uh, profession, you, what you want to become. So we use the verb werden, and you see, werden is here, and these are nouns. Werden, noun, werden, noun. Okay, that's the first one. Second one, werden plus adjective. That is the verb werden with adjective. Remember, Z. That's what we, what we have here. Die wird berühmt. Berühmt is to be popular. It's not yet popular, but 
she wants to be popular she wants to become popular she desires to become popular die wird berühmt die wird berühmt okay so we see those examples and then i will we come we come to the second one which is the werden plus ifs verb werden as I, that is used um with as ifs verb now we use it to express future that is the uh, future uh, future eyes ich werde die probleme in nigeria lösen ich werde die probleme in nigeria lösen i will solve the problems in nigeria so it's a futuristic thing i will do it and then the second one ich werde morgen zu dir kommen ich werde morgen zu dir kommen i will come to you tomorrow ich werde morgen zu dir kommen so number one werden can be used to express what you want to become secondly werden can be used to express what you want to do what you will do in the future and then number three, we have passive tense we can form passive tense uh with werden well even in english we have passive tense and passive tense is actually saying the performer of the action is no more at the usual place at the initial place which is the first position but his eye is at the at the back kind of hidden or is taken away totally we have some examples here my auto wird repariert my car will be repaired or my car is being repaired the difference is this we are not interested in the person that is repairing your car you yourself you are not interested in mentioning the name of the person that is repairing your car what is important to you is that the car is being repaired so you use it to form that passive tense my auto wird repariert so i repeat performing passive you use it in such a way that you suppress the performer of the act and you just go ahead and say the act itself my auto wird repariert and then uh, the next one is die waren werden geliefert die waren werden geliefert now in the case of die waren werden geliefert you order for something online and then the thing is brought to you is to be brought to your house and you just don't you don't want to mention the people bringing it the drivers and all those people you just say die waren werden geliefert so with that we see the usage of uh, werden the other important usages or functions of werden will be discussed later so that to avoid some confusion okay so generally speaking for now that is werden the verb werden we use it as fall verb we use it as ifs verb and under ifs verb it can be used to form sentences of what you want to do in the nearest future and then we can use it in form of passive to build passive sentences okay